Hey you! Welcome to Batonia Vale in Stoneharve and uh, in the previous episode I was showing you guys a little bit about the water in the game with water pumps and dry wet stones but it didn't really function right? So today I want to show when it's actually working so with the help of people on the AZ Discord I got a lot of help to fix things so my water has been restored might maybe mean that my fishermen will actually be able to drop their fishing equipment correctly, which we're gonna try. But what I want to do as well is that I want to go and show you guys the water pumps in action, how they actually work, because now they do work. So I guess let's start off with that. So in this game, you have an engineer that can craft these different uh, machines and mechanisms. You have gates for letting through water or blocking water as well. Copper water pumps for moving water, and you can extend the pipes from the water pump, and then you have the large gates that you can use as well for moving around some water. And uh, maybe you wonder, why should I do that? One, I guess it's pretty cool to be able to do so. And the other one is that um, it's actually it's useful, which I'm going to show you. So I'm going to change my farm area a little bit here. I'm gonna destroy some of my little lamp posts that I made before. And uh, what we're gonna do now, we can do this in a lot of different ways. But the reason I remove them is because I want to fill this with water, right? So if they would be near, they would have blocked the water. And you can also make this even more advanced. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna have a pump that pumps in water to a farm field. And I have another pump that is pumping out the water so it doesn't get over flooded, right? And uh, you can even make this more advanced because different crops require different amounts of water. So what you can do, for example, that you could have different gates, open those only to the places that need like extra water and so on. Uh, but let's start with adding some pumps down here then. And I'm gonna make it very, very, very basic. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna have a pump here. When I place this pump, I'm gonna put another pump on top of the pump and pump the water. And I also want to be able to remove the water from here. So how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna add another pump over here. And another way we can also do it, if we don't wanna affect the entire water over here, there might be actually a little bit of a better way perhaps to do this that might be a bit better to performance, I think. So, but I'm gonna do it with the water body we got. But the idea that you could have done differently would be to, for example, you could have like, maybe you make a water tower or something like that. And then you don't even have a pump to pump the water back. You can have it so it pumps up the water to the water tower. But you have a water gate that lets the water flow down. I think I might actually try to do that later on, just to experiment with that idea. Because then you just open a water gate and it would go through your own custom made pipes, for example. And how would you make that? I'm gonna show pretty soon how you could do that. Uh, but first, just go very, very basic with this. But you can make all kinds of interesting things. Either you make it for making it useful like we're doing now, or you make it for just making it cool, right? So we can extend the water pipe, and you can see we can drag different directions. Um, I'm not entirely sure how this actually works with some things, because I can't drag it over here. I don't know why. I think it's because it's colliding with the water. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but we can move this up here. So that's going to be the height. And uh, we are just going to make sure this is closed so we disable the flow. So it shouldn't be pumping now. You see it changes from blue to not blue. And then we can add another pump that's going to take the water from this and push it in there. And uh, we can add another one on top of this one later. So this one's just going to push it up and then we can add another one to push the water out. Okay, so here we go. So this one, we can click to extend the pipe, and this one we can go kind of all directions. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure why we couldn't go this way in the bottom. It might be that if I would have placed this one like over here, then it maybe have, would have been possible. Maybe this one checks if there is collision right next to it, and if it is to the side, this, 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 or this, it can't extend to any of those sides, but I'm not entirely sure how that works. But what we're going to do is we're going to extend the pipe over there. So now with this system, it's a lot better than the wet stones. Like we can drop a wet stone and fill it with water. But with this system, we can actually 
enable and disable these things really quickly. So for example, this one, I might as well always leave this one on. So if I click this one, it's gonna start to pump up water, right? And it looks like it's kind of going outside. So I wonder if I make this one step further in, maybe that's gonna work better and not see, yeah, the water isn't dropping there. And when I wanna disable this one, I take the lower one. And you see, it stops. Because this one only takes water if this one is pumping water, but I'm gonna disable both now. So you can see the fields are filling up and your farm fields, they do have this one then. So you can see how much water it wants. It wants between 19.6 up to 73.6, which is a lot of water. And that's like the optimal growth. So if things will grow faster, the better you match these different things with the Ace mod if you have it. If you don't have Ace mod, you don't have this kind of system. So you can see that the water level is good. And you can also see the water levels when you check here. Sometimes they don't update in time. Uh, this one says that it's currently flooded. I think it's because we have a tiny bit of water that spilled over there before in the beginning. Uh, but you can also see graphically when uh, it has enough water. You can see the fields, they kind of change the color on the dirt, right? So it's darker colored. Meanwhile, this one is a, light, a lot, lot brighter, right? And uh, this water over here, I think it will be removed, yeah. Yeah, see it's kind of removed uh, slowly. And then we want to be able to pump it out because, you know, when it's raining in the game, and that actually adds extra water to your crops. So, then we might want to have this one to pump up water above it, which means we should have another water pump over here. And when they have delivered that one, we're gonna extend the pipe outside of the farm field and let the water out. So with this method, we could kind of like make a dry dock for when you would have a ship inside, so you can fill it with a pipe, with water. And when you want to remove the water, you would do exactly the same as we will be doing now. So pretty useful and pretty cool. Okay, so this one, for some reason, it remembers the previous state when you undeploy them. I'm not sure why it works that way, but that's the way it works. But we're gonna change the pipes, it's gonna go... This might be good enough, but it feels safe as go like that. So if I do this now, unpause the game, and we make sure that both these are enabled. It should remove the water. Look at that. It looks kind of weird. But it will remove the water. And it will take a performance. And if we want to, we can enable this one and this one. And start to fill it with water. And then we can also go back and we can also disable this. And you can see that they are turned off and now we're filling with water again. And I'm going to disable this one when I get the desired level. That was... Almost, I think it was almost a little bit much, actually. So, I think that's why this one turned around, yeah. It doesn't have too much water, it says. I don't think they update super fast with how much water it got. But perhaps we should remove a tiny, tiny bit of water. Which we can do with this one, so let's make sure we enable. And uh, that went really quick. And disable that. So now we have, looks like a good water level. You can see that this has changed color again. It says we have a good amount of water. And all other fields are looking pretty dark, which means they have the water they need. So like I said, we could even make this different. We can have our own um, water tower. We will supply it with water. And I think the good potential maybe thing with that one is that since we push water into that, we don't have to like affect the entire water body in this entire like ocean lake. And that will probably be better performance wise. Like I said, how we could do that, we could for example build a big big box, just a simple box. I can just kind of demonstrate how I would maybe do that. Not making it look beautiful, but just making like how it could look kind of. So let's say I have one that would be like that for example. And let's just go super duper basic. I'm gonna, let's see, these need to be moved one. And I'm just gonna use the room tool for this. That's gonna be my container. Change the coloration a little bit and I take the floor and change the floor as well to a dark color. There we go. So it's not supposed to look beautiful. We can maybe beautify it a little tiny bit with like doing it like this. It's kind of hard to not start to beautify things. It's 
I really, really want to do that. When I start to do something, I want to do it. But we don't have to do that. So I'm just going to leave them like that for simplicity. So uh, then we could fill this with water. And um, for example, we could put a water gate here. Uh, let's see if we can find them in here. I'm not sure if we can put them into the designer or not. Yes, we can. And as you can see, these ones, they are more of like when you want to open like a, like a gate. Just like the name. Uh, but for example, this one, I wonder if I make a hole here, if that will allow me to put it there. Yes, it does. So you can imagine that way we can... That water just flow out. And... Um, you can kind of skip using pumps this way if you want to. I would have like a pump down here. So you can imagine this one would extend up. And then we'll have another extend up. And then one of them would go in probably at the very top over here, for example. So you can imagine one would go in there. Maybe not at the top, maybe just below to make it look a bit better, I guess. So it would extend pipes, extend pipes. And then from the pipe there into this one from the side. So it would go like this into this. So I guess to just demonstrate without the water pump, I'm going to show you how it could look with without that one. So we would have... The pumps would be connected like that, so that would be a spot where we had a new one. And then it would flow in here, and as long as this one is not open, water will start to fill up in here. And uh, whenever we want to have the water, we would open this thing. And what we could do then, depending on if we want to use any pumps or not, if we don't want to use any pumps, I think we could pre probably pretty much below this. We can make it like, almost like a pipe going up there, but made with blocks. It would be a pretty thick one though. So it could go like that. The water comes down here, and to make sure it doesn't go outside, we would do it like that, for example. And then we continue like that. And I'm not sure how much the water is going to fill up here, but we can have so it goes like that. And then maybe it would go into the field. Let's say the field would be over here. And then we just start flowing in there. And then we close it when we don't need more water. And we want, when we want to remove the water, we could either make it go in here again. Probably not. This would might only be for the first time when you use it. So... The next time we use it to the pumps, we might be use, pumping up the water from the fields instead of pumping water from the big lake, because that's going to drain performance more. And another way I guess that might also work that I haven't tried is to use the whetstones and make a body of water and fill it up. I think we can just try it for fun, you know, as a little experiment. Sometimes it's fun to do a little bit of experimenting, right? So that's what we're going to do. But now we got the water here. You see it's working great with a farm. And uh, now I'm going to show you guys kind of what I want to try out. So we're not going to make the same thing that I just did. But we're going to make something fun to experiment with. Let's maybe do it over here. I'm just going to chop down the tree over here. Okay, there we go. Finally someone removed it. So, uh, let's go ahead then, and we're gonna make a uh, container that we're gonna build without using water here, just to experiment. So, to make this a little bit easier when uh, building, instead of what I did before with dragging each individual up there, if you make like a square like this, we can select individual ones, and the game will understand when I drag them up that uh, it's gonna do it this way. And then we can just go ahead, double click that, and remove it down like that. Save a little bit of time. So I'm going to make a container. I'm not going to use the room tool this time, but I'm going to add a little bit of stone. And then we're just going to recolor here. And uh, then we're just going to go ahead and uh, select everything here again. And select this, drag it down, like so. And that will kind of be the container. So we don't have to make it more advanced than this. So I'm gonna make, let's say, I guess I can add the water pump here, right? For later usage. 
then I can push it. Actually, maybe that not is maybe not actually good. We want to have it outside and go in. So what I'm going to do right next to this is that I'm going to be digging out a 7x7. Seven seven. I think it should be pretty good. And I'm going to make it a little bit deeper as well. Or maybe let's make it even smaller. 5x5 five five is definitely good enough. Then let's see. I do have some whetstones. Some great whetstones. This fills up faster than your normal whetstones. And let's add a little ladder so we can get up and get down from here. Then let's add a whetstone. The troublesome thing with whetstones is that they will keep filling in until you remove them. And hard things aren't the fastest sometimes to do the task that you tell them to do. Which is one of the reasons I kinda wish the whetstone would work differently. Let's say it would uh, drop them out. And whenever you want to, you could click it to disable it. Just like you do with gates and pumps. I think it should work the same way really. Because waiting for your halflings to remove them when the AI doesn't understand that it should do it really quick. It's kind of frustrating. So now I probably want to remove it already. You're going to see it's going to overflow, right? So for this time, I'm just going to destroy the one because they aren't quick enough. We could have used a small one that might have been better than they might have had time. But now we fill this with water and hopefully that water is going to stay there, right? And uh, let's see here. This is our building. We want to push in water. I guess we can leave it like this and we can make just a little tiny hole there. A tiny hole there. And uh, here we can add a gate. That one we can add ahead of time. So that's pretty good. And then I'm just going to do this little thing that I showed before. And it's kind of dark now, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, but what I'm going to do this time is that I'm going to allow the water to go down to the same water body again. And I'm not sure if this is going to be good enough with height, if one block is going to be good enough when water starts coming down or not. Hopefully it will be. Since this is open just to one block, hopefully that will be enough with one block in height here as well. So, then... Uh, we can build this one. I'm Like I said, this is not a thing that we're gonna keep this thing. Just to kind of uh, demonstrate, I guess. So let's build that one. We have the hole ready there. And uh, we need to make some pumps, uh, some new ones. So I'm gonna make, let's say, we're gonna need one, two, three, maybe four pumps. And that gate we need as well. This one can go to the bottom. That's gonna boost my people. And I sold off a lot of items recently, and that's something you can do as well. If you have performance issues with the game, sometimes selling off a few items can be very, very useful. I haven't had much performance benefits with doing so, but it might be worth it. And this message came a little bit late. I mean, they already destroyed all my turrets before I got a message. <laughs> and I have done a um, light tonic. Muscle courage menace slowly heals over time. So this one does a lot of things, but I wonder if you can combine it with the strength tonic or not. So let's, let's check that out if it is actually possible. We can see the half about the light tonic there, and let's try to use this one. Okay, so you can use them at the same time. That's really powerful. That means we can activate a few more, and uh, that was Scourge, I think. No, refreshing. Temporary protects from... Okay, that's the one I wanted. Or maybe even this one. This one and that one you can't use at the same time though, so you can only use one of them. But now my people are super buffed by this. Really, really buffed. Let's make sure that we attack the big guy. That one. The Mama Varenus. And let's give some stamina as well, why not? I wonder if I got all my souls over here. I hope so. Looks like we do. These guys do inflict some poison, some toxins, if I remember. Yep, poison. A non-lethal but dangerous poison, okay. And we get some delicious Vranus meat, that's gonna be very tasty. 
There we go. They have been defeated. What's this guy doing? He's been like standing there the entire battle just looking around. What's he looking for? What are you looking for? Maybe he just wanted to be participating in the battle, I guess. So let's disable the job for soldiers so they can help around town. And uh, let's see what's going on over here. So it looks like we're maybe waiting for Watergate. It, it's shown an error. So I guess that's what we're kind of waiting for until they can continue building. I think so. That one should be hopefully ready soon. Yeah, it should be ready already. And they queued up to do some turrets. That's really good whenever they break something like a door or they break a turret. They will out queue the thing you need again. Bye bye, a cookie. Thank you for the cookie, Nanda. Thank you, thank you. So now they put the gate and we can continue. So with the gate here, oh, look at that. High quality, masterwork quality, crafted by Dim. Thank you, Dim. So here we can disable it and we can enable it. So it says that it is enabled, click to disable. So you can see the icon changing. I think the, there was potentially a bug with this one, because when I clicked it before, it always looked like it was the water one. Let's see if that's going to happen or not. It is still shown that it is water, so that's just like a graphical bug on icon, pretty much. And we need to get people outside, we don't want them to drown inside of our experimental water tower, right? <laughs> So let's get Anthony out of there. He's a fish toast, so he can probably swim around in there, I guess. And let's see if we have some more new pumps ready. Ooh, look at that. I love Dim's crafts. Doing great. So until we add another one, we got to see how far this one can go first. So there we got that one. Now we can actually remove this ladder. Hopefully no one goes inside to remove it. Here we go. And let's remove this ladder. We don't need to go up there anymore, not for now at least. Now we just need my water pump to come over there and actually... Mm, we will see, it's not sure this is gonna work good because... I think the pipe might have collision and if the water is going through here... I might have to put it here, It'd go up and bend in like that. depends on how it works. So now we're gonna extend it to the maximum height that we can do. Like that. And then we're gonna add another one. So this one, we're here. I don't know if we need to add a ladder for them to place this or not. If we do, we're just gonna add a ladder to the side. I'm just gonna do that just in case they don't do that. So there we got the next one, and this one, we're gonna make this one go up all the way until actually one block lower. Because then we can have another one that's gonna go from here into that. So we're awaiting another pump. Looks like we need some more copper. And we are out of copper. Let's see if we can get a good, maybe a miner selling us some good ore. A brewery? I don't think he has any copper with him. A bloody dare blacksmith. Oh, he's not selling any of that. That's unfortunate. Here we got one. Let's buy it all. I have a lot of gold, as you can see. I sold so many items. I actually think I sold like all the wheat and all the corn that I had because I had so much and I will keep getting more anyway, so... It's good sometimes to clean it up, make it tidy in town. I'm gonna see how much corn I got already. I sold all my bones as well and I have a lot of new bones again. And I think I sold most of our silkweed as well, but they're starting to fill up slowly. Ooh, look at that, masterwork quality leeches. Nasty. So I don't think that merchant could buy any from us. Uh, but we should get that one fairly, fairly soon. I guess for just for now we can take one we got here already and just move it over so we don't have to wait for it. 
and then I can just add the new one over here instead. So currently you can see how fast they're growing and we can also make fertilizers to make it grow even better. I currently we're not doing that and I think we're gonna do that. That would be fun. Making things grow faster, flood the town with even more things. <laughs> But you can see that it's currently growing 17 per faster, percent faster than the normal growth speed. So adding fertilizers can enhance that even further. So um, if we go into fertilizer, we have a few different ones we can make for our farm. We have compost, simple, fertilizer, enhanced fertilizer, half bud fertilizer, and mega crop. So it improves the quality of the produce, which means the high quality you get of like a base resource when you want to like craft like, um, let's say you want to make bread and you need to get some flour. When you make the flour, the higher the quality you have of your wheat, the higher the chance is that the flour is going to be high quality and it's combining a few different things like the craft, the skill and so on. And uh, pretty much the higher quality resource got, the higher the chance that the thing they produce will be better and uh, the simple one improved quality and they produce I think they also produce I think that is the speed that they're grown and you can see how many they can fertilize so one of these can uh, do 12 that can do 10 16 for the enhanced greatly improving the quality of their produce so you can earn a lot of money as well because you will make in delicious master work bread you will be an um, baguette French baker could be the master baker Pretty much. And hearth, but I think might be the best one. A skilled farmer will use it to increase the quality of their crops and improve the odds of getting mega crops. Each sack. Oh wow, they can fertilize 33 crops. Uh, I wanna do them. So this one needs a chunk of compost, hearth bud the essence, and hearth bud the seeds. Okay. I'm gonna maintain five at the very top. The composting part though is part of a mod called composting, so if you don't have that mod, I'm not sure if you have this on this fertilizer or not, but if you do have it, it's not going to require the compost thing. And um, with the compost mode, you had the uh, composting bins, and um, you can also see like in our place where we have our cows, we have a lot of manure laying around, and you can use these for creating the fertilizer, and I'm not sure why we have so much these days, but there's a lot of it. I think maybe the mod just started to work, and again, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but to get that one then, chunk of compost, you can see that we can mash bits of organic matter together to form a larger chunk of nutritious compost. So we can use that to make those. So this one needs two every time. So I guess I'm just gonna put the main thing so we have four of them around I guess. And then take three of them every time when I can make one of these. Looks like an chocolate ball almost <laughs> so uh, yeah I'm gonna do some of that I wonder how many herbless do I have these days I have two of them so that should be pretty quick to do crafting dried algae I think we're gonna get those crafted pretty soon but since we sometimes might run out of some resources like yeah, seeds or essences maybe want to do like a more basic fertilizer we can do could do mega crop, but I don't really care for that one too much. But enhanced fertilizer, we can do this one, require bones, charcoal, and the compost. And that's a good way to spend the bones we got. So I want to maintain, let's say, five of those as well. And they can only fertilize 16 though, meanwhile this one can fertilize 33 per fertilizer. We need to add a ladder to go all the way up here, by the way, I forgot about that. Here comes the pump. Okay. So, you can see that it remembers the previous way it was set up. I'm gonna move this one and push it inside of here. Look at that. Beautiful. So, um, to get this one working, we have to activate... Actually, the best way, I think, is to only activate the bottom one when, when you want to get water. So, that means that I will always have these ones enabled. It might help with performance to have them dis disabled. It could. I'm not entirely sure. The best would probably be to disable one them when you're not using them. Uh, but now we're gonna pump in some water. I guess the bottom one is already on, maybe. Let's see, look at that. So we can see the water is going out from there really quickly and going inside of here. And we're full. And what we can do then, I'm gonna disable that one. 
And now I should be able to open our gate and see the water coming out. And as we can see, we need to make this higher. So I think if I would just made it like one or two blocks higher here, it would have been stuck in there. And I guess we may as well see if we can do that. But I'm not sure if I can actually build on top of this building. Maybe I can. Okay. So we're going to build that and we can disable this. So that means it will stop the water from going outside. But I can see that it does work. We just have to fill this. And I think maybe, maybe... If we cover this entire thing, if we do it the way that I thought about doing it in the beginning, I just wanted to make it a little bit open. But if we would have done like that, the water would have come down here, right? And uh, then we would have had it pretty much like that. We do need to have it open there, though. The water will come from over here. So it would be like a thick pipe. Then I'm pretty sure it, it this thing couldn't happen. Depends on how the game works with uh, building blocks combined with water. But we're gonna try this again. Just to save a little bit of time, I'm gonna add a whetstone. And we're gonna remove it again. And this water here, I think it will get removed over time. Yeah, I can see it's kind of drying up over time. If you have, just have a tiny bit of water, it goes away after a while. Uh, but I'm going to pump this up here again. So let's just activate uh, the lower one. And water starts to fill again. And that's all the water we can fill. Disable that one. And uh, let's see if it opens now, if that is like good enough or not. Or if we have to like fill... We might have to cover it all up, all up like I said though. Yeah, we'll probably have to cover it all. That will probably be the best. So let's disable that thing again. And uh, there's a little bit of problem I think with this because I don't think we will be able to build right under the building. I think the game doesn't generally like that. Oh, maybe it does work. Okay, that's good if it does. Um, but then we're just gonna cover this up next to it right after. And you could just use pump, like, kind of for make it go out as well, I guess, but... It's more fun to use a little bit of gravity as well. So let's make sure we have a ladder to go up to that. Okay, there we go. Who's that? Is that Banto? No, it's Jonathan. Jonathan the Swimmer. But I mean, it looks pretty cool, and I think Ace is extending the engineer system with these things, because I, I have seen some things that seems to indicate that we might also be getting some kind of power to the game as well, to power things. But we will see no problems on that, it could all be subject to change, so we will see what happens with that. Uh, but let's build this thing. That should be pretty quick to do. And then we're just gonna try it and see how it works. And we're gonna do the same thing with the whetstones again. Build up. It looks pretty cool when it can move this. Oh, wait. Aiden is... No, or is that... Ah, okay. So when I put this one... That meant that he couldn't go past it. So that's why he was stuck up there. Okay. Oh yeah, we have another one here. Is that Banto? Banto the Prone. What does that mean? I have a lot of titles. Look at the amount of titles I got. Nice. They've been knocked down and gotten up. Yes, to be knocked back down again. <laughs> oh, the I'm gonna be the munchie. Eating sweet foods ten times. Still healthy enough? Probably. That's gonna be me now. Cookies. Okay, so they're delivering the crafting things to build this. And there we go. Okay, so let's see what happens now that we got a building covering this. If that's going to be good enough or not. So, like I said before, I have a feeling that the reason this isn't actually working is because I have the pumps over here. That you're blocking with collision. And that's maybe why it overflowed before as well. 
So if you already figured out about that, sorry for that. And so, how can we do it? I can just lower it like that and let's see it, if it's gonna flow out. Yeah, that was probably it before as well. So if you wanna do this, we're gonna unleash the water. Make sure that this one isn't in front of it. But that's also a good way to be able to block something. You can kind of use the water pump as a gate, sort of. Like, extend it when you want to block something. And then push it together again when you don't want to block it. So that could also be useful at times. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys liked me showing a little bit with the water pumps, explaining things and finding out things along the way while we were doing this as well. Uh, but I think I'm going to use this kind of system... Instead of pushing water from over here, we're gonna have a water tower later on and I might be doing that in the next episode, think about a little bit how I want it to look because it should look kind of beautiful but not at the same time too advanced or anything because it's just our little farm water town. But guys, thank you for checking out this episode, I hope you guys enjoyed checking out a little bit of the water. And if you didn't, feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date when I'm uploading videos. So thanks for watching! Hope you had a good, good time and hope to see you next time. Take care, everybody.